Yo, what is going on guys? It's Smitty here today, and I'm going to be bringing you guys a Call of Duty Modern Warfare weapon guide video today. So, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the most underrated weapons to use in Warzone that I personally think are really effective for me. Might not work for everyone, but these are definitely some slept on guns. Currently, the two most popular guns in this game are the Growl and the M4. Everybody uses these, and the noobs especially use the growl because there's zero recoil on that fucking thing. So these guns are slept on, and I can't wait to show you guys my builds for these. Give them a chance, go with an open mind, because some of them you guys may not like initially. So the first one I have is the SA-87 LMG. I feel like a lot of people aren't running this gun, but actually... With what I have on it right now, the 60 round mags, commando foregrip, the longest barrel you can put on it, monolithic attack laser, it's comparable to the M4 with that commando foregrip and the 60 round mags actually. The weight is about the same uh, and the sway is the same. It's really strong, especially from a distance. The iron sights I would compare to almost be similar to the Archangel barrel on the Grau, so this may actually uh, help some of you guys if you're used to those iron sights. Uh, others may not like these iron sights because they're a little different, especially from shooting long range so you may want to put a scope on it if you want to but this is what i have for the build if you can see the stats in the bottom left hand corner this gun is strong you lose a little mobility but it is good i promise you guys just give it a try you may like this one the next one i have is the uzi the uzi got buffed by putting this carbine pro barrel the uh 0.41 ae 32 round mags uh and the monolithic you guys gotta try this out if you don't have it already the Uzi is definitely being slept on. Currently, the most popular guns are the MP5, MP7, and the new Fennec that just came out. Uh, the Uzi, if you can get the control down on it, which isn't very hard, I promise you, once you figure it out, this thing will destroy people. It is strong, especially when you put these uh, mags on it. Bumps the damage up. The barrel on it can shoot really far compared to a lot of the SMGs, so this is my second underrated weapon for this video. For my third, I have the Kilo. I feel like a, a lot of people forget about the Kilo because the M4 is one of the most popular uh, guns, and people just choose the M4 over this. Uh, but I actually was hooked on this gun when I first started playing this game when it initially came out and I kind of forgot about it for a while because um, the recoil always gave me a little bit of trouble and it felt weaker compared to the M4 but actually with the class setup I have on right now the no stock actually helps out a lot with the recoil if you don't have a foregrip on it it's so weird it sounds ridiculous the bullets drop when you shoot and then you can kind of just figure it out from there I feel like foregrips like kind of are inconsistent with this gun it doesn't make a lot of sense to me but give this gun a try as well i i promise you it's not as bad as some of you may be thinking it is um it does some damage in warzone it really does it's not as good as m4 but this is a weapon to try out i think the build i have on it right now is pretty damn good and you guys should definitely give it a try. Uh, another underrated weapon I have for you guys to use in Warzone is the Bruin MK9. Comparable to the M4, I have the Commando Foregrip, I have the 16 round mags. It's literally what I have on my M4 right now. I don't have no stock on my M4, um, but the no stock helps a lot with this gun. It's actually ridiculous. It makes the gun really comparable to an M4, and it's an LMG. You can get that long barrel on it. It's a monster. It, it is a monster. You guys got to give this gun a chance. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on the LMGs in this game. I have the SA-87 and the Bruin I'm recommending to you guys for this video. It's definitely something that you guys got to try out. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. Once you try this out in Warzone, what do you guys think? Is it as good as M4? Is it as good as the Growl? Are you guys going to substitute them? Possibly not because those are some the OG guns. Everybody uses them. But these guns, these guns I'm recommending you are, are pretty slept on guys it has a lot of potential that people are just not using because the m4 is too strong or the growl is too strong is the m13 this thing is good as well i actually have the 60 round mags on it like i have in my m4 but i hear that the three or 0.300 blackout mags are really good too i personally don't like them but look at all this look at all the uh extra perks you get with it so it may click with you it doesn't exactly uh click with me which is why i have the sixth round mags on got the commando foregrip keep the uh keep that aim consistency uh the same kind of all around the spectrum on my guns um i got that tempest markman marksman barrel monolithic suppressor and uh, solo zero uh, you don't have to have the optic on if you don't want it helps me a little bit you can throw a laser on to help your ads um but this is another good gun. It shoots really fast. It's really, really accurate. 
Um, and this is this is definitely another slept on gun for sure. One last thing I want to throw in for the video is I feel like the 9mm 32 round mags got buffed in the M4. I know I don't shouldn't be talking about the M4 because it is everybody's using this gun. The 32 round mags on this thing, not only did they shoot wicked fast like an SMG, my build is basically another SMG. You can use this as a secondary and run around with it with overkill. And this thing does a ton of damage. If you already know the recoil on the M4 and you can figure it out with no stock and everything, this thing shreds. I I swear to God, the 9mm 32 round mags got buffed. They put people down in multiplayer and in Warzone. You can break people's armor like that in this. So here's another thing. It's not exactly slept on because technically the M4 is being used a lot, but I don't think the 9mm mags people are using a lot. They're, they're th just throwing on those 60 round mags uh, and just calling it a day. So that is my last recommendation for you guys. If you guys did enjoy my suggestions on this weapon class setup, please drop a like in the video. Please leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys in the comment section. And uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys uh, got help from this. And if you do enjoy, subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys later in the next video. Peace. Smitty out. Just a little self-promotion before I head out today, guys. Uh, I do run a website called smithix.com where I make custom graphics, uh, posters, clothing, uh, custom logos. Just stuff all around that scale as I'm a graphic design major in college. So this is a way that I can make income. And uh, if, if any of this stuff interests you, do give it a visit. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as I update it a lot with all of my new designs. And I think you guys may like it. If not, thank you for giving it a shot. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.